Praise the Lord. Sunday night, amen. Get ready to worship the Lord. God is always worthy to be praised. And as we want to give God the glory, let's sing it out together. We want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see Jesus lifted high. A banner that flies across this land. That all men may see the truth and know He's the way to heaven. sing praise. Let's sing out that song, We Can Take the Land. We haven't sang that in a while. Amen. And we can take the land, we can take the land, and God has promised His word that we can take the land. And harvest time is ready according to God's plan. Like Joshua and Caleb said, we can take the land, and we can take the land, we can take the land. And God has promised His word that we can take the land. And harvest time is ready according to God's plan. Like Joshua and Caleb said, we can take the land. And victory is mine, victory is mine. And I know that victory is mine. Cause I told Satan to get thee behind. And victory today is mine. Well, victory is mine, and victory is mine. And I know that victory is mine. And I told Satan to get thee behind, cause victory today is mine. Joy is mine, joy is mine, and joy is mine. And I know that joy is mine, cause I told Satan to get thee behind. And joy today is mine, power is mine, and power is mine, power is mine. And I know that power is mine. And I told Satan to get thee behind, cause power today is mine. Blessing is mine, blessing is mine, blessing is mine. And I know that blessing is mine. And I told Satan to get thee behind, cause blessing today is mine. Healing is mine, healing is mine, and healing is mine. And I know that healing is mine. And I told Satan to get thee behind, cause healing today is mine. One more time, victory. Oh, victory is mine, and victory is mine, and I know that victory is mine. I told Satan to get thee behind, cause victory today is mine. Amen. Hopefully that's your testimony. Victory is yours. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's slow it down. Have some worship and sing it out together. Awesome is the sight of your holiness. And awesome is the sight. 
to us tonight. And so we want to go before the Lord and pray. We need to pray, amen, against this coronavirus, and we need to pray for our church and God to help us. Maybe you're there tonight and want to believe the Lord together, and you have your own needs, I have needs. We want to ask God to help us tonight, and so let's begin with opening in prayer, and then we'll get into the Word of God tonight and ask God to help us. And so you're there, I'm here, let's pray. Father God, we thank you tonight. For the blood and for the cross, Lord, I'm asking, God, that you open our hearts to your word. God, help us tonight, God, and give us grace. God, let us be hearers, God, of your word and doers of your word, God, even tonight. And I thank you, God, tonight for the blood and for the cross. God, I'm asking you to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can, um, we usually take an offering at this time, and so <clears throat> you can come Sunday morning. Sunday morning we are in our building. Uh, we operate... Uh, once a week out of our facility the rest is online uh, for now uh, until things change and so listen I, you know it's not like I enjoy it but we're just trying to do our best with what we know and that's where we are and so uh, you can use Zelle uh, it's easy to do it works just well the door church upland gmail .com, and that'll be great and so this evening I want to talk to you about a little secret that most people don't know and that is that joy, joy helps you fight in the spiritual battles of life. I want to look at this chapter, Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 8 through 12. That'll be our text tonight. And let's see what we can learn. It says this, So they read distinctly from the book in the law of God, and they gave the sense and helped them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, who was the governor, Ezra, the priest, and scribe, and the Levites, who taught the people, said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, send the portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to the Lord. Do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Be still, for the day is holy, do not be grieved. And all the people went their way to eat and drink and send portions and rejoiced greatly because they understood the words that were declared to them. Nehemiah 
He is sometimes referenced as the weeping prophet. And because there's a lot of weeping in this book, but in our text, he is reading the word of God to them, and the people are cut to the heart, and, and, and they're, they're weeping and they're grieving, but uh, the word of God is, is not meant to do that to us. Sometimes it is. Sometimes we need to repent and we need to get right. But after we repent and we get right, what should follow is that we are going to rejoice in what God is doing in our lives. Amen. Like you and me tonight, we can rejoice that Jesus died for us, that Jesus saved us. And, and there's so much to rejoice in in our salvation about what God has done for us. And, and aren't you glad that, that Jesus saved you and that you got saved? Uh, you know, I don't know, some of you got saved years ago. I know I got saved saved years ago and God did a wonderful work in my life and that you know we're not where we used to be and we may not be where we want to be but thank God for Jesus and what he's done and so in our text we see this situation play out but I want you to know something tonight and first of all that one of the strategies of the enemy main strategy is to rob you of your joy is to rob you of your joy. In our text it says the people wept, wept. The people wept. Here's the word of God and, and, and there's this situation that they are facing and it brings them to a place where they are weeping, they are sad and the Prophet stop them right there because how many know tonight there are so many things in life that are going to bring us down. There are so many issues that we are having to face. I don't know about you, but coronavirus, I'm about, just about had it and it's bringing me down and I'm tired of it. <laughs> uh, the issues of life. There's so many different things that can bring us down. And the enemy uses these things and he works on our minds and on our hearts to bring us down. Because when we are brought down and when we are uh, sad and when we are depressed and, and we are lost our joy, we become weak. We become weak. Today, depression is such a common thing, and, and, and I, I don't have to uh, go into the details, but one of my battles has been with depression. The feeling of, of not amounting up to enough or, or, or not being where I should be or, or, or other things that go on in life. And uh, one of our leaders said, you know what, uh, the, one of the things that pastors faced most, uh, uh, amen, is a feeling of, uh, the, the, not depression, but uh, the feeling of, uh, yeah, the feeling of depression. Winston Churchill, famous leader, called it the black dog. Leaders face it. People uh, uh, who sometimes don't, you don't even think that it's there. But listen, there are battles that go on on the inside. Even for you who are listening tonight, if you're listening, that you know what, there are things that are going on that are trying to bring us down. This is the devil's strategy. Discouragement. That's what I meant to say. Discouragement comes. Because of issues of life, failures and, 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 and failings and, and, and people problems. Come on. Money problems. Social issues. Negativity that is all around us. All these things are designed and the enemy uses them to bring us down. Because when we are brought down and when we are sad and when we are depressed, we usually are weak. That's what depression does, right? When people are depressed, energy's gone. You just feel, mm, they don't want to do anything. They don't want to go anywhere. They don't want to socialize. Discouraged, beat down, get to the point to where people, they just want to veg out. They just want to be on their phone, their tablet, the internet. They want to lock themselves away. 
And that's what the enemy wants to do to you and me. And, and especially in this time like this, listen to me tonight. Listen to people, I, I'm, I'm around people and I'm seeing it. People are getting worn out. They're getting worn down. And especially in the house of God, in the church of God, people, amen, are dealing with so many issues in life. And, and, and they're bothered and, and, and they're vexed. And, and why this and why that? And, and, and now instead of, of, of coming to church with joy and ready to receive, uh, you know, what they have a chip on their so shoulder, there's issues shoes because the devil wants to rob you of joy so this is an area that the devil attacks us the battle for the mind I mean just you can't even look at the news and read the news today because it's all negative it's all it's all bad. Everything is negative. Everything is meant to bring you down. The news, like I can't even, I can't even read too much of it because very soon it's like I don't even want to hear it. So many more thousands dead, or the infection rate goes up, or it goes down, and you know, the, the protesting and, you know, somebody got killed or, or you know, uh, uh, the president of this and, and this nation that and, and, you know, it's just, it's, it's enough. And then you have to live in your own life with your own problems, your own issues that you have. The own burdens of, of, of financial responsibility and, 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 and family responsibility and, and marriage and, and all these other aspects that play into our life. And the devil uses this stuff. Listen to me very carefully because this is the battleground and your joy gets robbed and that's why you become a weak Christian. You become susceptible to temptation. And the enemy comes not when you're strong or when you're weak. The Bible says that he walks about like a roaring lion. The roaring lion doesn't go after the strongest of the herd. Usually go off after those who are struggling, who are on the outskirts, who are weak, the ones that are easy prey. Social media. It's something, you know what, some of the people are, are given to, so, and you know what, a lot of it also is negative, because now you're reading people's opinions and people's thoughts. And people are afraid. Some people are, they're, they're gripped by fear. Others, they're, they're gripped by anger and frustration. But listen tonight, this is not the, the, the this, that's not Christianity. The Bible teaches us in the New Testament, and, and the apostle always writes to the churches that your joy may be full. And they were filled with great joy. And, and, and the apostle Paul and Silas, they're going through a hard time. They're put in prison and they're put in stocks and they've been beaten. And the Bible tells us that, that joy was the mark because they were singing while they were in prison. And then people got saved. Listen, that, that's the Christianity right there. When, when no matter where we are, what we're going through, we can still have joy. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so I'm trying to just uh, give you a quick shot tonight because uh, people need to be reminded to rejoice. In our text, it says, The Levites quieted all the people. Be still, uh, for the day is holy. Do not be grieved. And they went on, they rejoiced. And then, and then in verse 10, Do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Do not sorrow for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4, the apostle Paul writes to this church, rejoice. And I want to say it again, rejoice. Why? Because we need to be reminded to rejoice and, and to focus our minds and our hearts on things that we can rejoice in. Listen tonight, there's so much that we can rejoice in in God. There's not a lot that we can rejoice in in this world right now. But in God, in His Word, in His promises, in who He is and what Jesus did for us on the cross and the washing of our sins and preparing us a, a, a holy place that we're going to go to and be with Him one day, a place free of sickness, free of disease, free of, 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 of 
pressure and, and, and issues. No, it's going to be heaven. It says, keep your eyes on the things above. Why? Because if you keep your eyes on the things of this earth, you're going to get depressed. You're going to be troubled. And we need to be reminded. We need to be reminded to rejoice. You know what, if you want to find negative things to think about, if you want to find issues, and you want to find problems, there are millions of them. If you want to find problems within the church, you're going to find them. If you want to find problems and things inside of people, you're going to find them. Oh, but so much better when we find something to rejoice about. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord helps you fight battles. And some of you, this is exactly where you are. You don't have no joy and you know it. David, when he was backslidden and, and he had committed uh, uh, gruesome sin, because sin will do that too, rob you of your joy. Giving over to your sin will rob you of your joy. And he writes and says, Lord, return to me the joy of your salvation. Oh, amen. Psalm 51. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. And I'm asking you tonight, do you still rejoice in, in God? And if you don't, then why? Why? And, and you know, what? what is it? Social issues, things that really shouldn't even be concerning you as a Christian, is it... Are, are, are you too busy finding the issues within people? That your joy is robbed? Is it the pressures of life? Is it coronavirus? Is it that we have to be online? That you know we're making decisions based on what we know? Well, what is it that's robbing you of your joy? And I'm asking you tonight, you need to cast it to the side because the joy of the Lord is your strength. You need to put it to the side and say, God, I need to have a fresh joy. And the Apostle Paul writes, he says, rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. The Bible teaches us that Jesus was able to go through what he went through and die for us because of the joy that was set before him. The joy. The joy. We need to rejoice. And I'm asking you tonight, I'm challenging you tonight to rejoice. You know, you don't need a, 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 we don't need to be in a big band with a worship and all this stuff to have joy. If that's what we need to have joy, then our joy is very weak. Come on, what about this word tonight? What about this Bible that God has given us? What about our friends? What about our families? What about what all that God has saved you from? Hasn't God saved you from enough? Rejoice. Rejoice. I, again, I say rejoice. I'm, so, I'm asking you, I'm challenging you tonight to rejoice. Even tonight, after we're done with this, start thinking about things that you can rejoice in. Rejoice in God. Rejoice in the God of your salvation. Rejoice tonight. And see that, that things don't start to change around for you. And tomorrow and this week, I challenge you tonight. I want you to find things that you can rejoice in and see if your mood don't change. See if things don't change for you because you rejoice. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you tonight for your word. God, I'm asking you, God, to fill us with fresh joy in our lives, God. Even as the fruit of your spirit is first love and then joy. God, we need a fresh touch of the Holy Ghost in this time. There's so much negative, there's so much issues going on, Lord. But, your, but the joy of the Lord is our strength. I'm asking you to bless your people, God, tonight. God, help us, Lord, to continue in faith. Keep them strong, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you tonight. Amen. Rejoice. Again, I say rejoice.